What's up, it's Cody, welcome back to the channel. So over the weekend, my band did a live stream and we were able to use the audio from our mixer on our Instagram live feed. And with live streams becoming so popular lately, I thought it'd be really beneficial if I showed you how I got my audio from my mixer to my phone. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now don't get me wrong, I've loved the acoustic style sessions that we've been seeing from a lot of artists in their bedroom with just an acoustic guitar and singing at their phone. But I truly believe that this is only the start of live streaming concerts and we're gonna see a huge boom in them over the next couple years. So I think it'd be so beneficial if you as an artist are able to take your sound, run it through a mixer and then back to your phone just so that you get a cleaner, crisper sound than if you're just using the microphone from your phone itself. If you do wanna hear what my pre-mixed audio sounded like going through Instagram Live, I'll have a short little clip at the end of this video that you can go check out. As always, if you do find a video like this helpful, be sure to drop a like down below so that many more people can see this video and it really helps out me and my channel. So thanks so much if you can do that. All right, so the way I managed to get audio from my mixer to my phone with my own band was by making this horrible looking cable. But instead of showing you how to solder together an awful cable like this, I thought I'd just look on Amazon and see if they have it already made. And sure enough, they do. So the great thing about this is, is that no matter what mixer you're using, you're gonna be able to get the audio from it to your phone. Whether that's a little two channel mixer or a big studio console, or even if it's your audio interface that you use to record all your music with, as long as it has an output on it, you're gonna be able to send that to your phone. Now, before I show you exactly what kind of adapters and connectors you need to get in order to make this possible, I think it's very important that you understand how come we need to do this in the first place. So when it comes to your standard input jack, there's generally three different kinds that we use most of the time. There's a TS, a TRS, and a TRRS. Now the T in this stands for the tip, the R stands for ring, and the S stands for sleeve. And basically all that this is, is how many different connections your cable is gonna be able to make. So if you have a TS, you're only gonna be able to send one channel of audio at a time. If you have a TRS, you're gonna be able to send two channels of audio at a time. And if you have a TRRS, you're gonna be able to send three channels of audio at one time. So the important thing to know is that your phone's input jack is a TRRS connection. The reason for this is that your phone's input jack is able to send out a left channel of audio, a right channel of audio, receive a microphone signal, and have a ground. So that's how come it's a TRRS. So the first thing that we're gonna need to be able to get any kind of audio to our phone is one of these adapters. Now this adapter is gonna separate this TRRS cable into two separate channels. One is gonna be for our microphone input to come in, as one is gonna be for us to plug our headphones into so that we can still listen to the audio coming from our phone. And this is the most important one. You can't just plug any old cable into your phone and expect it to give you audio. You need one of these so that you can plug into the microphone jack so your phone is gonna be able to hear whatever audio you're sending to it. Now there are a ton of these on Amazon and I haven't actually tried this one out myself. I do plan on ordering it though. It has a nice braided cable and it looks pretty heavy duty, it has decent reviews, but feel free to do your own shopping and not just choose this one. Although this is the one I'm gonna pick up for myself and for future live streams, um, let me know which one you end up going with and how it works for you. So once we have this cable and it's plugged into our phone, we do have a couple different options of how we get the audio from our mixer or our interface into this cable and into our phone. And depending on your mixer or how you're planning on sending the audio to your phone is gonna depend on what kind of cable you're gonna get. So let's say you have a mixer similar to this one with a main output that's a quarter inch jack. So what you're used to plugging into a guitar. If you wanna be able to use your main output to send audio to your phone, you're gonna need to pick up one of these cables. So what this cable does is it takes your quarter inch jack and converts it down to an eighth inch that'll plug right into that microphone slot on your phone. So something to keep in mind is that this is a stereo cable, so it's a TRS, but we are sending it to a TS on our microphone input. So we're only gonna get one channel of audio. So make sure when you do have everything panned that it's all up the middle because we are only able to send a mono signal to our phone, not a stereo signal. So if you pull up your phone and you go to your live stream and you're only hearing the left side of audio, that's because that's all that this cable is gonna be able to pick up. So just make sure that you have everything panned up the middle and you'll be just fine. Okay, now if your mixer doesn't have a quarter inch jack as an output and it has an XLR output instead, we're still fine. We're just gonna need to pick up a different cable. So the cable we're gonna need to get for this one is an XLR 2 8 inch so that we're able to plug directly from our mixer into our phone's adapter. Now again, you're not gonna be able to send a stereo signal. As I said, your phone can only take in a mono input, but it shouldn't really matter anyways because someone's listening back on their phone and they're not gonna be able to hear the full stereo spectrum anyways. So the mono input is just what we have to deal with, but it's still better than just using your phone's microphone anyways. Now this will work with any mixer or any audio interface, as I said, as long as you can send audio out of it and get it to this phone adapter that you're gonna need, you're gonna have no problem doing it. Now, if you do need some help picking out the right connector to 
get your audio from your mixer to the adapter that we're gonna need to pick up, just drop me a comment down below and I'll do some research into your mixer and figure out exactly what'll work best for you. So, so don't worry if you're struggling there. Now, I did notice some downfalls of using the mixer audio on my phone. I did have a difficult time getting Instagram to recognize that I had my mixer plugged into it. It did take a little bit of work and there was some troubleshooting involved, but I was able to get the audio sent to my phone with just playing around with the volumes. I found a problem with Instagram was they tend to do their own volume leveling themselves. So I couldn't send the signal at the proper level that I wanted to. If I sent it too loud, they would just make it quiet. And if parts weren't loud enough, they would bump it up. So hopefully this is something that Instagram and Facebook recognizes that a lot of artists are using professionally mixed audio on their live streams and are gonna be able to accommodate and make it easier for us artists to use our own sound. Anyways, I hope this helps improve your audio quality of your live streams. I really do think that live streaming is, is gonna blow up and it's gonna be a lot bigger than it is now and will continue to grow over the next few years. So make sure that you step up your game right away and get familiar with doing live broadcasts in this way. And as always, if you did find this video helpful, please do me a huge favor and drop a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Story, so if you could just say, say what?